I thought today I would take you guys with me to M&S, which is one of my favorite stores to go to this time of year. They always have the best festive food. I actually... <laughs> <laughs> this super cute little gingerbread man on my coffee today case in point so cute came from M&S um so I thought we'd go and have a little look around together there's a few other stores that I really like this time of year Waitrose is one of them as well um and I just love like just going around just to have a little browse and see what they've got in all right I've made it to M&S I completely forgot about their 12 days of M&S I think this is on right now. I'm gonna go check the app. All right, I got 20% off slippers and 20% off a biscuit cart, which I think includes biscuit tins. I don't know, is it a cart and a tin? Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> we've made it inside. I've actually got one of these, uh, what you call them? What's the name of the poinsettias? Is that what they're called? I have a little plant of this at home and uh, it's so nice. It just brings a little bit of festive flower. <laughs> <laughs> to my living room. Let's see where all the festive stuff is hiding out. Not seeing anything just here, but over here we've definitely got some festive bits. We've got a turkey breast joint, another turkey breast joint. That looks like a whole turkey, a whole duck. Let me know what you guys have on your Christmas dinner. So for us, we tend to get a turkey crown, um, which I think is maybe something like this, like a boneless joint. Um, just because there's only the four of us, so that's kind of just about the right... Oh no, here's a turkey crown. It's got the stuffing and stuff on it. £85! Oh my gosh, well we definitely don't get it here. <laughs> Let me tell you that. And then we will also get a ham as well. So if you can got like a slow roasted turkey thigh. Now the good thing about these M&S packets is that they literally have everything you need. You just chuck it straight in the oven, follow the directions, and then you're going to get your meat out exactly how you expect it. Obviously, stuff like this more so you have a bit more to do yourself. I don't think they do any like festive salads or anything like that or festive vegetables. Although maybe actually they do some ready to roast veggies for Christmas dinner, but yeah, definitely not seen anything in the fruit and veg section. So we will move swiftly on. Ooh, okay, they've got a good end here. Always check the ends, you know, the oil ends. I feel like that's where you find all of the good stuff. So um, they've got duck fat, different duck fat, <laughs> Um, goose fat. Maybe this is just a bigger one. I don't know, but this one's in a festive jar. So um, they've also got turkey gravy and beef gravy. We've got some more festive meats here. 12 pigs in blankets. Now this is a bit controversial. We don't have pigs in blankets on our dinner back home. I just don't think it's a thing in Ireland. I do like pigs in blankets. They just don't put them on my Christmas dinner. It feels like more of a what do you call it? Smor smorgasbord? <laughs> I can never say that word. But yeah, it feels more like a picky bits kind of food to have. Like, you know, I'll have it with all the other picky bits. And apologies, the fridges are super noisy. So <laughs> there's probably a lot of background noise here. Um, and we've got some bacon. We're actually going to do bacon bats for Christmas morning breakfast. This is the first year Rachel and I are going to do breakfast. So um, hopefully we'll get it right. We'll probably actually come to M&S to get some good bacon because they do really nice maple cured bacon. What is this? This is pigs and blankets and stuffing balls. I do like a stuffing ball. They also have their packs of stuffing. We've got this before for Christmas dinner. It's just so handy just to pop in the oven and um, it's really nice as well. I always find their stuffing is well flavored and it's like not dry or anything. It's really nice. But they do a couple of different ones. We've got pork, sage and onion and then pork, chestnut, bacon and thyme. We have some festive spiced pickled red cabbage. Not something I've ever tried, but I have to say it does sound interesting. And of course, cranberry sauce. I feel like this belongs on every dinner table at Christmas. This is possibly my favorite section in M&S around Christmas time, and that is their party food. They always have them on offers. This is like four for three at the moment, um, but I always get bits from here every year. So this is one of my favorites. The tangy brie and cranberry tartlets. They are absolutely delightful. We've got some mini burgers. Not sure if I've tried those. Um, crispy bacon mac and Barber's cheddar cheese bites. Oh, they look really nice. That's like, it's like wrapped in bacon. Oh, yeah, okay, that looks really nice. All butter pastry mini pies. I think Rachel might have stocked us up at home for Christmas, but I'm sure she'll let me know. What else is there? Battered tempura vegetables, vegetable spring rolls, butternut feta, feta and sage quiche bites they sound nice fried fondue bites oh my gosh they sound great as well pigs and blankets 
cheesy pigs in blankets, crispy duck spring rolls. I feel like some of this stuff is like their ordinary uh, selection. Oh, crispy salt and pepper chicken spring rolls. I've not seen that before. And um, what else have we got? Samosas, prawn toast. Oh. M&S prawn toast is actually so good. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend. Actually, a lot of their like takeaway range um, is really, really good. I like all of their kind of Chinese selections that they do uh, with the prawn toast. Yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, miso satay style chicken skewers. Yes, okay. Oh my gosh, what is this? Snowmen bao buns? <gasps> they are epic. Korean style chicken lollipops. Nice. And as well, the Korean style chicken in M&S is good too. Oh, right, okay. Barbecue pork belly squares. That is right up my street. Ooh, they've got more party food on the end here. So cheese and bacon mini tarts. They look lovely. Some tiger prawns, gloomy fries. There's those snowmen again and the pork belly squares. Oh, the mini pies. Oh, they look great. We definitely get those. And I like the look of these flatbread things too. They kind of look like open bow buns but i don't know maybe they are flatbreads i guess they might crisp up in the oven some mini steak sandwiches oh what's this 10 pulled beef and potato roast towers <gasps> they actually look really nice another end here we've got more duck fat sage and red onion stuff in mix and then chestnuts cooked and ready to eat i've only ever tried chestnuts once it was on the champs Elysees in paris and um, I thought they were absolutely revolting and really dry. <laughs> so let me know if I've done it wrong. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I, they always smell so good. That's the problem. And then every, ever since I smell them, when they do them on like the street stands and stuff, they always smell amazing, but I'm just brought back to that memory of it being super dry and awful. Um, this bread sauce and turkey gravy on this one as well. Oh, look, they've got like small packets. This is actually quite cool because if I wanted to do like just something for me and my flat, you know, cause it's really nice to do a bit of ham and like have the ham sandwiches and stuff. I could just get a nice small one. And, um, but they've also got a ham joint. Like this is more like something what we would get for Christmas dinner. But yeah, you can see they've got lots of different options. Oh, pate, I love pate. I'm such a sucker for pate. they have got a chicken liver pate there. Oh my gosh, so much. Old ham hock pate. Okay, we're definitely gonna get some pate at home. We're gonna have probably one or two evenings where we just have like the sort of charcuterie board style dinner of just lots of different bits and bobs. M&S also always do a really good cheese board selection. So let's have a look at this one. This is the cheese board favorite six pack. I think we've got this before. It has a lot of our favorites. The Wednesday Dale with cranberry is delightful. And they've got a British cheese selection. This one's 12.50. What has that got? Brie, a cheddar, a blue cheese, a red Leicester, Oh yeah, and a brie. Um, so that's 12 50 This one's only £9, the first one I showed you. Um, I feel like this is a good deal. It's a good way to get to try the different cheeses. And then there's a continental cheese selection. And this one is £10. And this has a blue, a brie, a manchego. I do like manchego. My favorite's actually Conte. I love Conte cheese. But you can see they've got a selection then of individually wrapped cheeses. Oh, a hot cheese truffle bake. That sounds amazing. Yeah, definitely have to have a really good cheese board. Oh, look, they've got like a little balsamic onion and cheddar Santa hat. How cool is that? Oh yeah, up here is kind of like the really festive ones. There is a Wensleydale winter fruit snowflake and a cranberry and orange Wensleydale. The snowflake though, that's cool. And that is the cheese that I love, that Wensleydale with cranberry. That is a huge bit of cheese though, isn't it? Only six pounds, well, 6.75. Something that I only got into in recent years is brandy butter with my mince pies and things. I never really had brandy butter in the past. Don't really know why, but I'm so into it now. And also like a thick one. So this would be what I would go for. Extra thick brandy cream. Now I'm not seeing anything festive in the bakery section. Normally they have like a Santa yum nut. Now I am coming a bit later in the day, so maybe they don't have it. But I don't even see like a little tag for it. So I wonder if they've done that this year because I always thought they were super popular. They have got a spiced bear gingerbread though. Here is the gingerbread mug hangers. They are so, so cute. Highly recommend getting these. Just pop them on the side of your coffee or your hot chocolate. So cute. And then they've got a gingerbread Christmas tree. They've got a gingerbread house, a 
Christmas tea and treats gift box. Oh, that's quite cool. That's only 15 pints. What's in there? Christmas spice tea, all butter, shortbread trees, iced top, fruit cake, and merry berry jam. That's a nice little gift box. They've got a fruit and nut butter. I haven't heard of that before. A chocolate and orange swirl. There is an amazing spread though. I'll show it. It's not a festive one, but I'll show you. It's so good. Um, spiced pickle red cabbage. Oh, that's the red cabbage again. And there's the merry berry cherry jam. That's merry berry that used to be on Bake Off, right? Unless it's just Mary Berry. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, so it's Mary Berry, not Mary, the person Berry. <laughs> Gingerbread syrup. Let's put in your coffee. What's a speculoo? Cookies and cream biscuit. Looks nice though. Kind of actually looks like a Kimberly Elite, which is what we get at home. It's one of our favorite biscuits. A chocolate, hot chocolate bomb. Christmas spice tea. Oh, what are those cute little things up there hot chocolate light up house tin that is so cute and this would be such a good secret santa gift as well they also have a luxury gold tea light up house for five pounds so yeah they're really good prices like first for something for your office secret santa the ms red mold wine is really nice i've had that before this is the spread i was talking about hazelnut cream it basically tastes like the inside of a kinder bueno just trust me try it it's so good they've got these cute golden star Gillette waffles. I guess you just toast these. They look pretty cute, but also they have got the Christmas tree crumpets, which are super cute. Love those. They're only 150 as well, and the waffles are 350. They've got biscuits for cheese. I actually prefer biscuits for cheese than crackers for cheese. Uh, we got a box like this last time, and it was just really nice, especially for the real strong cheeses. Then they've got some chutneys and caramelized onions to go with them. This is the one I got last year, and I really liked it. They've got some snowy pretzels. They look super festive, and some sticky toffee bites. Oh, and festive Colin the Caterpillar faces. They're really cute. They have some fun crisp bags here, so turkey feast combo mix, pigs in blanket combo mix that's quite cool this biscuit tin is really nice it's a snowy christmas biscuit tin it's a musical tin that projects a festive scene oh yeah look at that that's really good like i feel like 10 pounds is such a good price for that oh i found the mince pies we've got mini mince pies full size frangipan mince pies chocolate and hazelnut mince pies oh look at that stollen loaf that looks so good and the stollen slices these i tend to get every year these stollen slices and i have them with the brandy butter and oh my gosh thick brandy but uh, not brandy butter it's brandy cream i keep saying butter but the thick brandy cream with these stollen slices is absolutely amazing but now i'm kind of tempted to get the loaf is that too much <laughs> They actually do the mince meat filling for mince pies, which isn't real meat. It is just like currants and sultanas and raisins. So you can kind of use that in your bacon or maybe with something else that you want to, I don't know, I don't know what else you would put it with. I guess it would just be bacon. They've got brandy and clementine mince meat here. That's a much bigger jar. I think I should. Do any of you guys make your own mince pies? Is that, I can't think of any other use other than to put it in something, so. I don't know, let me know what you use it for. Oh, festive chutney. I do love a festive chutney. We've got some different cakes here then. Well, we've got Christmas puddings. I love this little tiny one. That's so cute, little individual portion. And then some Christmas cake, some Genoa cake. I'm not familiar with this actually. It looks quite nice though. All butter fruit cake with cherries and plump sultanas. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. Ice of fruit cake. Oh, and then they've got Colin the Caterpillar. Little chocolate sponge mini rolls. They're really cute. Oh, look at these nine mini festive cupcakes. They are adorable. The MS festive Yule log is so good. Highly recommend. Got some more bits over here. Oh, there's a full size festive Colin the Caterpillar. Got a big mix. This kind of looks like a quality street type thing. Um, but MS chocolate is really nice. So I bet that's lovely too. Oh, this, I love this kind of stuff. Like a mix of all sorts. But look, it's got pretzels, like chocolate covered popcorn. Oh, that is right up my street. And then you can get a refill pack. So how much is the tin? Nine pounds. A refill pack is six pounds. I guess you could just buy the refill pack. You don't necessarily need the tin. Um, and then you could put it into your own sort of dish. A very jelly munch. Oh, so this one has jellies and stuff. I think I would go for this one. Oh, it looks so good. And then some toffees. That chalk corn block looks nice. Chocolate dipped honeycomb. My dad makes 
this at home, like his own chocolate dipped honeycomb. It's so good. It's outrageously good. They've got some cute little like alcohol and chocolate sets, some real festive looking chocolate boxes, I guess, like biscuit boxes. These look nice as well. Definitely feel like this would be a good place to just jump into if you had to get something last minute, like I say, for like an off office secret Santa or something. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? Seasons, tweetings. And then there's like little Santa head things, gnome Santas, the salted caramel pine cones. I think I've had these before and they're really nice. There's just so much like, and I'm in a small M&S, like they really do have such a good festive selection. How cute are the paper plate sets that they have? and then napkins and stuff. So handy as well, definitely help with the cleanup. They do their own books fizz here. There's a few different types. Okay, this actually is definitely one of my favorites. This is where all of the like condiment bits are. So all the different chutneys. They have a few that are festive, but like a lot of these they'll have all year round. And they're just such a good compliment for the cheese board. Oh, what's up here? Malt whiskey marmalade. That sounds amazing. There's that hazelnut cream again. But yeah, there's a good selection here. And some different crackers if you want to try something a bit different. All right, let's have a quick look at the festive sandwiches. There's a roast chicken and Christmas slaw. That one's not for me. <laughs> a jingle brie, a jingle brie LT. Oh, like a BLT, but a brie LT. Okay, I would try that, that sounds nice. There's a turkey feast. That's up my street now. A Christmas club though, that is where it's at. I feel like this one is similar to what they had last year and it was so so good m&s is like top of the game for sandwiches i love their sandwiches so yeah i think the the club is definitely looking the best for me there's a pigs in blanket a gluten free and a ho ho pesto and veg yeah that one wouldn't be for me now i think the club is where it's at i am now back home <laughs> after my little shop in MS. I hope you enjoyed it coming for a little shop with me let me know if anything that caught your eye as we were browsing around and also I love hearing what people have on their Christmas dinner so let me know what bits <laughs> you have on your dinner do you have pigs and blankets do you have turkey and ham the traditional um is that the traditional I don't know let me know <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>